Hi everybody, um, this is my first vlog since I've moved in. It's been quite a hectic time, so I haven't, I haven't had time to like vlog or anything. So, welcome to my new house in university. Um, my hair is in headscarf because it's really, really bad. So, yeah, that's that. Anyway, today I was talking to an old friend, um, and uh, she reminded me of this slang term, uh, slang term, uh, shower. If anyone doesn't know, shower, well, according to what I'm reading, is either uh, thinking you're hard or looking cool or something of that sort. Anyway, um, I was just thinking about that, and I was just thinking about how black people I've met, the big black people, the black people that I've met in this country, actually are amazing. Because, like, I don't know, I feel like that we have to fit a certain profile to be called black. Otherwise, you're called um, an Oreo or Bounty or whatever else kind of thing. And it's quite weird because the definition of being black is being uh, scary or not scary. Is being the definition of being black is uh, being hard and gangsterish and um, basically acting tough. And then I just think, what of people like me who weren't tough at all? And I tried. I really did try to fit in with into that stereotypical black person and. Well, it didn't go well for me, let's just say that. It just, <laughs> yeah, I got myself into a lot of situations where it was literally like I had I had fights with boys, like white boys and whatnot, because they thought I was this tough person, so I got to do that for myself. But I, it was actually hurting me, like, why should they pick on me just because I'm black? Then I realised that it's a representation of who I thought I was, that they were fighting against. Now, um, this video might be offensive to some people, and I apologise if it is. I'm not trying to argue what's a black curse, whatever, but it just confuses the form from what I experience, experience from what I experience and what I've seen. It just seems like black people in this country have to behave in a certain way to be called black, and I think it's really sad. Like. Um, I've grown up, I've hanged around, I've, I've been with like a lot of white people and some people might find that quite, um, and I used to be called a bounty, this was um, like uh, after my trying to be black kind of thing. And um, I was getting a call, oh, you're such a bounty, oh, you do this, why are you hanging around white people, oh, you're so whited, or whatever, and things like that. It's just like, why, what, what is, what is a colour? What, what is being a colour? It doesn't, things like, I mean, I could go on about it, like, race issues. The race issues are really things that I like to talk about and they will feature soon. But I just want to talk about things that make me laugh, like slang terms. I mean, seriously, it's like taking, um, forgive me if I get this wrong, uh, patois and um, those kind of Caribbean uh, languages, which are from there, there's the way they speak, turning them into some sort of London uh, cool thing. And then expecting everyone that's black to be talking like that. I mean, I would get people that um, uh, are not black um, coming up to me and expecting them to talk slang. And I'd be like, um, I don't necessarily speak slang. Half the time, I had to try and, you know, catch up with my cousin to find out what does this mean and what not, so I don't look stupid. But then in the past, like, couple of years, uh, ever since I started dating, I realised this is really pathetic. I shouldn't have to try and find out uh, what this means. I shouldn't have to. I should just speak what I know. Why? Why do we make such an effort to try and make a language barrier between people? But um, I guess that could go on for ages. But anyway, I digress a lot. So yeah, I've just jumped from one topic to another. Feel free to ask me any questions, but please share, comment, um, and subscribe to my blog. Thank you. See you next time.